Hey again, everyone. It's a messy little, aka that NES fan, coming back at you. Welcome back, everybody. Timothy Little back here with you today. And we're, today we're going to be looking at how to set up the recast, which is a popular, uh, very <laughs> very effective, very well done Sega Dreamcast emulator for Android operating systems. Specifically, we're going to go ahead and look at it on the NVIDIA Shield, which is a powerful, well, probably the most powerful portable Android uh, platform on the market today. So the first step will be to go to a credible site. I'll put a link in the description. To where I got the to uh, a folder containing the Dreamcast emulator's system files, the recast system files, and once you have those, you're going to want to rename them. Okay, you can't use them the way they are, the way you download these things. So for the BIOS file, for example, you're going to want to rename it DC underscore boot dot bin, and for Flash, DC underscore Flash dot bin. All right. And you're also, additionally, you're also going to want to have, you notice if you look kind of closely at your monitor, you see that there's a actual CD loader, or I guess it would be called a CDI loader, that you would also need. And those three files, really, I know I've highlighted two because those are the major system files, uh, but you actually need something that will load the, it will actually load the games, right? So you're going to want to transfer that file over as well. Those three are actually really important. Uh, so, and we'll get to memory cards and stuff later on. But you, at some point, you would have to transfer over that VMS file. I don't know if you caught that. Uh, but those are the major, those are the basic require, basically the required files you need. Those three. So, let's go ahead and show you how I have my shield laid out. Connect the shield, please, to your computer. Obviously through USB. Wait for Windows to detect it. Go ahead and open up your folder. Navigate to the root of the drive, aka internal storage. And once you're in internal storage, go ahead and create a folder called DC. There, you see it right there. And double-click inside DC. Make another folder called Data. Uh, go ahead and do that. Yep. Folder called Data. Double-click Data. Drag those files over there, and you are set to go as far as what, as far as the re basic requirements that you need to have, the files you need to have on your NVIDIA Shield's hard drive. So the next step is to obviously investigate, well, how are we going to get the ROMs working? Okay, so let's go ahead and actually get the ROMs running on the emulator itself. Now, if you haven't already, I highly recommend you go to emuparadise.com, which is credible, and download some of your favorite Dreamcast hits. All right, and you can go ahead and easily add those to any folder, whether it be on uh, these this, these particular ROMs happen to be on my mini SD card, but or you could just simply transfer them over to the you know to whatever folder you want, basically on your Dreamcast hard drive, and the BIOS will go ahead and uh, you know you'll see the BIOS file list at the top of the of your screen in the emulator itself. Now what I'm doing here is I'm actually showing you how to uh, work the memory card and how to get that up and going. Now I already had one done. Remember if you just saw there, I already had in slot 1, it was already two there was already 200 megs free. But just follow the what I'm doing right here. You notice I'm going to permanently delete and following through with that and going through whatever other little screens are there. And notice it says all files were deleted and the memory card is basically back to the way it was. Although even though it didn't really exist before, so that's how you kind of get your memory cards up and running uh, before you even play the game. So now you can go ahead and actually play a ROM with these with these free memory cards, which is great because you have room to save your stuff. Now the first one I played, yeah, if I re recall correctly, was a Virtual Tennis on here. And uh, Virtual Tennis ran really well. Obviously, the project, this uh, Dreamcast emulator project, is still a work in process, still a work in progress. 
And so things, you know, do not run perfectly. You know, do not emulate perfectly. I don't know how to move the camera there. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's... Uh, you know, you got to take it for what it's worth. I believe it's in, like, alpha, st alpha state or something like that, alpha mode. But whatever. Uh, this is actually the debugged mode version of that. But they're still working on it, still tweaking it, right? Uh, virtual Tennis, though, looks really good. And I must admit, I uploaded... Well, just go watch my last video on, on the recast. I mean, I uploaded footage of Daytona USA. I uploaded footage of Sonic Adventures. So just go watch those, guys. I mean, those look really great. So, I mean, but look, look at just the graphic. The graphical interface looks really great. So, you know, this is virtual tennis. Now, I also played, I played, well, I'll go ahead and play a little bit of footage on here. I recall playing a little bit of footage here. But I played another game on here. I'm trying to think what else I tried. I think it was NHL 2, yeah, it was NHL 2K, which also looked great on here. Although, you know, obviously a little bit more glitchy than, than virtual tennis, but it still looked pretty darn good, and the frame rate was decent much like virtual tennis here. So, you know, I will, again, I will put links in the description to Emu Paradise. To, you know, they have a whole directory over there of games that you can get for, that you can download for the Dreamcast, as well as the files, the system files for the Dreamcast. And I will also put a link in the description to the debug mode version of the emulator of Recast that I'm running on here. Okay? And you notice I'm navigating over to NHL. <laughs> I really hate that, you know, because I have Gamepad, or, yeah, whatever it's called, Gamepad Mapper on, and it tends to, I don't know, it tends to act a little bit strange on certain applications. That, that's an application. That's an Android thing, I think. I mean, I haven't really, I've also tested the simulator out on my tablet, on my phone, and it, it doesn't really seem to react the same way when I go to click on a ROM, so I don't know what that, I don't know what else, what's up with that, but whatever. It's a minor pet peeve of mine. So, you'll notice, uh, since it was designed for, it looks like it was designed for phones and tablets mainly, you notice that there are on-screen controls on the touchscreen. So if I wanted to, I could just play this, you know, exclusively with the touchscreen. But, you know, obviously I'm using a, you know, an Xbox, <laughs> kind of like an Xbox controller in my hand. The Shield offers that controller functionality, so I might as well take advantage of it. So, there is NHL 2K running, and it runs pretty darn well, I must admit. I, like, like I say, it's true that it is a little bit uh, glitchy, but overall, uh, there's nothing really com to be upset about uh, with this game. I mean, it, you know, kind of a graphics equivalent to NHL 2002, which I had on PC, and you have it right there in front of you. And best of all, you don't really have to stream. You don't have to stream anything. It's all right there. The emulator does everything for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it showed you uh, how to set up everything and get your recast running on your Android. So that'll be that NES fan signing off for now. Take care, guys, and I hope to hear from you in the comments section. And uh, I'll be putting up more footage of Sega Dreamcast games in the near future here. Take care.